All right, so today we're gonna to be testing out a few different filaments. Uh, I'm gonna do rear peg because obviously that's the one that you use the most, that handles like most of the weight. If there's gonna be any like reason for shit to blow up, it's gonna be on the back peg. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna be running, I printed out some pegs, so we're gonna be running, this is carbon fiber nylon. Should be real interesting. This stuff, uh, what's a pain in the ass about this stuff is the shrinkage. I mean, it shrunk over a full millimeter, like unreal. Um, obviously, we've got our PLA Plus, which I've already like tested on my Instagram, and now we got the PETG, which we're gonna try out. I think we're gonna do this one first, so let's try her out. All right got the uh, PETG, PETG, as they call it, right? 3D printed, 100% infill. Obviously ran it slow, ran it hot. First grind, one clip. I don't cut it, no editing. Nice, pretty nice. Check it out. Oh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Here, let me get it up close. All right, that's first grind right there. It's pretty impressive. Felt and it sounded correct, too. You know what I mean? It felt good, too. So, let's do a few more, see how it goes. All right, did like five grinds. You can see, had some delamination right there. The old uh, Pet G looks better wear resistant, but yeah, definitely an air right there. That's no bueno. All right, now we're gonna try to break these damn things. I'm gonna hop as high as I can and land on this thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just fucking bent or broke my axle on that because I fucking slammed it. Look at that shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that shit. She fucking broke like nothing, dude. All right. P-E-T-G. Fucking can't hang. All right, I got to take a better look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that is a... Uh, PETG, the PETG, definitely uh, went to shit. So let's compare that to yesterday's, uh, where we got it? There we go. This is Esun's PLA Plus, which you see me power feeble that thing, smash the crap out of it. And it's looking pretty normal, looking real good. That's my favorite, by the way. And if my axle is not broken, which it may be, I don't know. We're gonna try this one right here. Gonna put on the fiberglass nylon, see how that goes. No, don't say I'm soft on it. <laughs> Look how bent that shit is, that's from the power people, dude. Oh my God, first thing I notice, as soon as I tighten this shit on, look at that. Ah, uh, she's cracking, that means the internal, probably because there is so much shrinkage with the nylon that that's why it's too thin. And it allowed some of it to, wait, no, wouldn't that mean there was too much material? Whatever, it cracked. Uh, now I'm gonna see if I can uh, smash it up. All right, my fucking shit is fucking wrecked, dude. That is fucked. Completely fucked. Oh yeah, my fucking axle is definitely fucking broke. Like, female, oh yeah. That is a sign of a fucking broken axle. Let's see if I can still fucking grind on it. <laughs> Oh, 
that's so bad, dude. I should not be doing this. Uh. I do my drop out. This is why I can't have nice things. Oh, dude. I can't have anything nice. I don't know why. I didn't do anything. I just break it. Fucking blew my drop out. Oh, man, damn. God damn, fuck that on my song, bitch, man. <laughs> well, that's fucked up. That's how hard I'm hitting that shit. Um. <laughs> Oh, dude, look at the fucking dropout, dude. She's all fucking, bah. oh, son of a bitch. Well, it's going good till that happened. <laughs> I am the reason I can't have nice things, okay? So, uh, well, fuck. I guess I gotta go fix that. I know how to fix that. What am I gonna do? To buy a fucking spindle, an axle, whatever the fuck? God damn it. All right, well, that's prototyping three fucking different filament types PLA plus the PETG which fucking failed and the nylon carbon fiber which is kind on edge there it did break out the ass of the peg so we'll fucking see all right well final conclusion so far of uh testing I guess the most important thing is uh Female axles are no fucking stronger than male axles. Fucking still can snap those fucking things like nothing. Um, also partially my fault because for whatever fucking reason, um, the guards that I run are too uh, thick boys. The space that they take up is uh, too great. So I have to fucking put like a spacer behind my fucking guard and because i have to fucking put a spacer behind my guard that misaligns so like females work best when the bolt sticks into it and it actually goes further in than the outer fucking bearing but because i have to fucking run a spacer it sits outside of that so it's just that fucking where the fuck is it it's just that just that thin shit sitting by its fucking self. So then when I fucking do some power bomb fucking feebles, <laughs> fucking snap that shit. So that's the first thing, breaking axles. All right, so let's look at the pegs. This is fucking PLA plus. Oh, this is my favorite. I smashed this motherfucker together with like a hammer. It fucking I treat this thing like shit. This peg and the PLA by Esun, it's PLA Plus by Esun is fucking killing it. All right, that's fucking that one. Let's look at uh, a lot of people hit me up about doing uh, PETG or PETG. Guess what? Like I thought, it's fuck all. <laughs> I know I've seen tests online where this stuff supposedly does better than PLA, but once again, PLA plus is not the same as fucking PLA. Like, normal PLA is shit. Like, it's shit. So I understand that, but major difference here, and this one is fucking proven. I mean, this is your pet G. Fucking, I don't know how many grinds. I obviously power bombed this motherfucker so hard that I, uh, Literally snap my axle, but, oh, dude, you can see it's coming out the fucking side. Ugh, there we go. So, delaminating between layers and shit, too. And my settings, like, I read all about it, ran it slow, ran it hot. It still fucking gave up on me. A lot of delamination. I have another one running right now, so maybe we'll try out another one. Uh, if I get a fucking wheel going. But yeah, interesting to see how the impact actually, like, it seems like when it hits, it fucking 
delaminates layers. It's just a theory though, so I don't know. <laughs> Finally, nylon, carbon fiber nylon. Um, kind of disappointed about that. That was legitimately just putting the peg on. It fucking cracked out the back. Um, and I only got to ride it a little bit because my shit was so fucked up, man. So I don't know how this one's gonna go. Um, still some delamination in here, look at this. Interesting, what's, what's the most interesting about the carbon fiber stuff is it's granular, I guess, right? So it it's the strongest the way the print. So obviously I print it this way. Shit seems super tough, but the opposite can be said for when you're going against the grain. And it's fucking... Like, this is another peg that I had uh, fucked up because of, like, this shit shrinks so much. It's unreal. Like, I had to add a full millimeter onto dimensions and it still was fucking like tight getting it in and out what's gnarly about this stuff is see it look at that that is awesome like that's what you want it to do but when it goes you know parallel to or excuse me perpendicular to the grain force it's fucking it breaks like nothing but the other way when you're ugh, Dealing with the fucking carbon fiber shit, dude. It's tough as fuck. So, I don't know what the solution is with this one either. I'm going to have to print another one, try it out. That's basically why the fuck we're here. We're trying to figure this out. Make the fucking best of what we got. But, I'm still fucking rooting for PLA Plus over here. This is what all the uh, 3D printer boys out there, you know who I'm talking about. This is the shit you run. I mean, you can beat the fuck out of this stuff. This stuff, this looks like a legit plastic peg. Ridden, thrown on the fucking ground. This is some space age shit. Seems pretty cool. I mean, the, the damage on the few grinds, I mean, it seems solid as fuck. Like very, very <laughs> little wear on it. So, I don't know. Back to the fucking drawing board, back on the printer. See if I can find a fucking axle or something. If not, I got another fucking wheel I'll put together. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And yeah, see you.